Gold. started. Okay, Moshe Gold. Let's see. It's time for a D4, I guess. And uh, what is that? Oh, yeah, it's a normal. He's stopping me from putting the Epon forward. Okay, this is a Budapest Gambit, which is uh, okay. It's kind of an interesting Gambit. And he hasn't, uh, normally they bring the bishop out right away. He hasn't done that. I'm going to play here a3. So I can play knight to c3 without being pinned. That's the idea. So he goes there, and then you, and the bishop goes to <clears throat> c5. Then you can block with the e-pawn. And eventually, yeah, eventually <laughs> Black gets tired of making these forcing moves and uh, trades, trades, takes the pawn back. So it's not a real gambit because Black almost always gets the pawn back. The lines where White holds onto the pawn are pretty good, pretty good compensation for Black. So I'm going to castle. And then play um, b4, kick that bishop, and maybe bishop b2. Get this bishop on a good diagonal. He's looking at the um, d3 square here, but I have it under control at the moment. And c2. But the knight's not uh, knight's not threatening to go to c2 just yet. Now, this is kind of interesting. If I could play uh, pawn here, but he can just take it. Okay, anyway, that was my idea. Get the uh, get the bishop off the back rank. Maybe knight to um, d5 is good here. Okay, so he's going to checkmate me, huh? Let's see. If he plays bishop h3 and I go bishop f3 to defend, he takes it with the knight. I take back with the queen. And uh, he's won the bishop pair. But he has to retreat his bishop then. And uh, in the meantime, my knight will be sitting here if I play knight here. And he doesn't have time to save that bishop. So that will leave me with a dark squared bishop and him with a light squared bishop. Yeah, might be might be interesting. That's not necessarily drawish. That might be uh, the kind of position that's good for the attacking side. With opposite colored bishops, the it favors the attacking side. So I have to defend the pawn so I don't get mated. And I didn't want to push the pawn forward to g3 and give up the rook. So this is what I planned. And then I have to take back with the queen to keep defending the pawn. And now I'm threatening to take the bishop. So the bishop has to move. He can gain a tempo by going there, yeah. But he still has no good way to save this dark squared bishop. So I still get a, a dark squared bishop here. Okay, he is. Um, he's left his queen sitting there unprotected. So I can attack this bishop, right? It's pinned. He can attack my queen, but then I can take the bishop with the queen. So I think I think this wins a piece. Unless I missed something. I think. <laughs> okay, a short game. But uh, anyway, the, the Budapest Gambit is kind of interesting. We can take a look at that in the postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.